So we'll get rid of that one. Let's uh, do, do, do. Now we'll jump into this one. Now it's the same bedroom. I think it's the same bedroom. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, but this one has five layers. Um, there's honestly, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to having some of these. I could probably just get away with the first, uh, the first one by going like this and bring the highlights down a little bit more. So I hit my ambient layer preset and then I'm just kind of making some tweaks in here. Um, I lift this a little bit more. Um, Someone did ask if you updated your presets. I think you did, right? Do you have recently? Yeah, yeah my presets, no, not like, um, I mean, I might be using, like I have so many different things. I might be using these presets. I might be using the wrong presets. They're all relatively the same. There just might be little slight variations that I did differently. Um, but anyways, they, they should all be pretty much the same though. Um, Here's a flash layer. Let's see if I'm gonna use that one. Yeah. So I'll use this one. And I'm just gonna hit a flash layer interior. Um, yeah, they might be named something. I think these are the ones right here, the RE workflow. That's my latest. I don't know why I was in that set right there. Um, so we'll bump the exposure up. I'm gonna bring the highlights down a little bit to control this window. Now we have our actual you know, I mean, this isn't great to see, but there's, you know, this is highlights and this is kind of what you're going to run into more, more of the time. Um, and there's a cord going through here and I'll show you a couple little quick tricks how to get rid of that stuff. But that telephone wire is unfortunate. I don't think I ended up delivering this one, but um, it, uh, it's kind of a good example of some little tricks to get rid of these things. Hold on one second. So, all right, so I have my two layers here, um, right? Same thing. I'm going to bring them into Photoshop, open as layers. So same thing. I'm just gonna kind of go through this a little bit faster now. I'm not gonna use actions. I'm just gonna kind of process this image normally. So um, again, it imported with my ambient layer on top. So I'm gonna drop that down. Now I'm going to add a mask going to fill it 50% gray. That way, it basically, it's blending those two photos together. I'm gonna duplicate this one, set it to darken. I'm gonna get rid of the mask. Okay, actually, you only have to get rid of it. I'm gonna just fill it with black. So fill, and then this time I'm gonna go to black. There we go. Now, pick a brush and just control these highlights in the, in the windows. Just like that, just brush all that in. Maybe you didn't want to do this on the window so much, but whatever, just kind of showing how this all works. There we go. And then you can also hit that one on there just in case. Um, there we go. So. You can see what that did. Darken that up without really doing anything else to it. Um, still no color issues really. So um, all we're gonna do is duplicate this bottom layer, which is, I didn't rename them this time either. My actions rename them normally. Um, and we're gonna set it to luminosity. And then we're going to option add a mask. So we have a black mask and then we're just gonna brush in where the flash might have been visible. Just bring in as much of this ambient kind of feel as possible. Like some of that. One thing I like to do is kind of have a darker foreground than, uh, and then have it get the brighter, it gets brighter as it gets further away from the camera. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell either there was a, kind of a hot spot from the flash on this side. Um, you can use that luminance layer to kind of block that out too, or to kind of help you hide that. So, but then now you can see there's a little bit of a color variation there. And this is where I'm gonna show you this other move. Okay, so you add a layer. We're going to add, set it to color mode. And if you can kind of see, there's a little bit of a greenish tinge right here and this side's a little more warm. So 
what we're going to do is I'm going to make a pretty quick selection here just so I'm not affecting anything but that area or that at least that color. And I think this side of the frame is good. So we'll probably just do something like that. So I'm really just trying to work in this space over here. So I just selected that. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to select over here on the side where I like the color. And I'm just going to set this to about 20% flow up here. And I'm going to just a little bit smaller of a brush, but I'm going to brush that in over that greenish kind of tinge to warm it up and kind of give it the same color as the ceiling on the other side so it looks more uniform and kind of less flashy, less color variance. Um, Deselect, and now you can see right here, I'm gonna kind of zoom in on the area so you can really get a feel for it, but see that go back and forth. Phil, can you see that? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So now you can kind of see how that 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 coolness is gone. And I was able to bring the color in from over here and kind of fix the little issue we we're having. Um, my actions have this layer built into it also. So um, you won't need to you know, create that yourself, but that's how you use a color cloning layer. That's what I call it. Um, this little stuff, I would add another layer down here. Um, and I'm not sure if you're familiar, but this is like your healing tool. Um, I would go like this and try to just pull out all of that. And it's pretty good at fixing it as long as you have it on. Uh, I have mine set to content aware up here. Um, and it'll kind of, if you stay within confines of like your little stuff you're working on kind of like only do this portion of the cement and then kind of move over here to the bar whatever you got to do but it kind of it does a pretty good job i mean that's not My favorite the best. Tool in photoshop yeah not not the best job when you're up close looking at it like that but that cord's gone you know and that's that's great uh, another thing is i would hate to leave this here so i'm gonna hit s and go to the clone stamp tool and I'm just going to grab, you know, some of this foliage over here, some of this random stuff, and I'm just going to kind of brush it in. I don't know how, like, you know, how crazy you're going to be about that's not how that's supposed to look or whatever, but I don't really care. I would just kind of do something like uh, help mask that that truck was parked right there. I mean, and that, that looks probably fine. No realtor is going to notice that you duplicated the bush back there. Um, at least I don't think. So I would say this is pretty much finished. Um, and I mean, I wouldn't remove this photo poll, right? I don't think you can do that stuff, but um, this is probably all good right here. So, oops, try to get away from that. Um, so fly an image, save it. And we're back in here. And then all you got to do is hit that, uh, let's see, finishing interior. There we go. And that's, uh, it adds all the stuff we need back to it right here. So that's done. I would mark it with a B. And then I'm on to the next photo. So.